Hey guys, I'm uh, down in my garage again. I'm still working on uh, a friend's R65 and I uh, found another little thing that I wanted to show you real quick. Uh, very simple, uh, requires a simple tool that you can buy from CycleWorks. I will uh, put a link down in the description. Um, I'm talking about a tool to grease up wheel bearings in those older airheads here. This is a 1984 R65, which still uses tapered roller bearings. Later, in the later models, um, I think in the 90s, they went to um, sealed bearings that you don't need to grease up anymore. Uh, but let me show you real quick. So this is the cast aluminum wheel, 18 inch front wheel on an R65. And here you can see the outer seal of the bearing and this metal part that sticks out here on the outside is actually not part of the bearing. This is a spacer. Some people call it a top head spacer. And uh, this top head spacer is used to um, pretty much, uh, if you look at the whole assembly, when you put an axle through, this little shoulder here will sit on this side, um, top head spacer, and then this spacer over here will be sitting on the other side's top head spacer and then a washer and a nut. And uh, when those tapered roller bearings are installed, they have to uh, be set to a certain preload. Don't wanna talk about this right now. Um, there are other videos out there, I think, I might have made one on preload of the uh, tapered roller bearing on a front wheel of an airhead, but this video is gonna be about greasing, greasing your already installed tapered roller bearing. So when, when you spin the outer uh, metal part here, you're just spinning a spacer. So this is not gonna tell you anything about the uh, condition of the bearing that's right behind there, it's a tapered roller bearing. You can shove your little pinky in there and you can spin your bearing. And if you don't feel any roughness or uh, shatter marks, or then most likely your bearing is still okay. And then um, usually when I take my front wheel or rear wheel out to replace the tires is the moment when I will put in uh, some grease. Uh, let me grab a rag here real quick. All right, so this here is a little machine tool. Um, and like I said, I think it's Cycle Works. That's a place where you can get BMW parts. Um, it's, it's literally a grease nipple. If I can get it up. Yeah. Grease nipple on a machine aluminum piece um, that has a drilled grease delivery opening here between two O-rings. I mean, if you're a machinist, you can drill out a piece of uh, round stock aluminum, make it to those di dimensions and put two grooves with um, an O-ring in there and then uh, uh, tap it for a grease fitting. I just bought the thing and this is machined so that it actually fits right into the uh, top head spacer and the bearing that's right behind it. And it's uh, made so that the two O-rings, they're blocking off the stream of grease. And when you push grease in, the little drilled opening will deliver it right to where the bearing is and then squeeze it in, into every nook and cranny. And uh, you can give it two, three, five, five pumps, whatever, how many you wanna do. And that delivers some fresh grease into that tapered roller bearing, so they will last a little longer. And I usually do that on my personal bikes every time I replace the tires. So, you know, front tire, maybe 10,000 miles, 12,000 miles, whatever, how long, and the rear, half that long. Um, and so they all get greased up in a more or less regular interval. And that will make your tapered roller bearings in there last a little longer and uh, will keep you from having to replace those. Get this little tool adapter thing here for your grease gun and do that every time you have the wheel off. That's it guys, that's the video for today. If you like those short little tech tips, give me a thumbs up and subscribe please. Thank you.